Hi, I'm Cindy Lynch, Stenograph's Training Program Manager, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to provide real-time and output to CaseViewNet, either for a remote real-time legal proceeding or for remote CART when taking a job using a web conferencing application such as Zoom. You'll want the remote proceedings to be as close as possible to the same experience as being there in person. Although you can't set an iPad in front of each participant, you can send a link to your real-time feed that the participants can open on any device they have with a web browser. You should advise them to use two devices or a computer connected to two screens, one screen for the web conference app and one for your real-time output. You'll set up for your remote real-time session pretty much the same way as you set up for an in-person real-time session with just a couple of minor differences. Your writer is connected to your computer. I also use an external sound card, and I plug my microphone into that sound card. Now, if we were all in the same room, I'd place my microphone in a position that would let me get the best possible input from each speaker in the room. In a remote proceeding, the sound will be coming from the web conference software or a telephone, depending on whether you use the computer sound or the call-in number. Most reporters who have done remote proceedings agree that the best quality sound comes from using the call-in number option versus audio from the web conferencing software. And rather than turn up the volume on their phone, many reporters will connect their cell phone to a separate speaker to get the best possible sound quality. You can use any brand of speaker that connects to the phone you want to use. Regardless of how you listen, all you need to do for audio sync is to place the computer's microphone next to the device where you will be hearing the audio, such as the phone or the speaker attached to the phone. Now, there are other options to capture sound for audio sync if you're going to use the computer audio versus the call-in number. However, rather than go into all of the possibilities in this video, I'll suggest that you visit the Stenograph Solution Center, also known as the Support Help Desk. If you search for the phrase remote audio sync, you'll find documents that detail all of the different options. Okay, with the hardware pretty much set up, we're ready to begin real time with output to CaseViewNet. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to assume you already have a CaseViewNet license and a session code. If not, please visit the Stenograph Solution Center and view the How to Purchase a CaseUNet License and Cloud Session Code at the Same Time document, which contains step-by-step -step directions to obtain them. After you've opened Catalyst, select Translate, give the file a name, select Dictionaries and any other options you need, all of the same things you would normally do when working in person instead of remotely, as we'll also be outputting to CaseUNet this time, at Output 2, select CaseView. At View or Change CVNet, click the Passwords button. In this dialog box, you can set up passwords which set the save rights for a certain length of time. If Allow Save is selected, the client will have the ability to save and email the transcript to themselves from the CaseUNet browser app. The expiration indicates how long that password will be good. If you're working with the clients for one day only, you might set the expiration at Today and the password will expire at midnight tonight. If you're working together for a few days, you might set the expiration to the last day you'll be working together, and it will expire that night at midnight. Let's say for the job I'm about to do today, I want to be able to give all of my clients a password that will allow them to save the transcript. When I click New Password, Catalyst automatically generates a password with save rights selected, set to Never Expire. But, since we're only working together today, I want that password to expire by midnight tonight. So, I'll click Expiration, then click Today. Okay, that's all set up. It's been agreed and arranged that all of the parties have the right to view the transcript and save it. I will need to communicate the correct password and my session code to the attorneys I'm working with today. The easiest way for me to do this is to click Browser Link, type my session code, and then select the password that goes with the save rights that will expire tonight. Then, click Generate Link. Catalyst informs me that the password and session code have been copied to the clipboard and that I can paste it into an email or chat message. We will do that once we get the web conference app going. For now, click OK, 
then click Close, then click OK. And now let's click OK to start translation and write a few strokes to make sure everything's connected. Good. Next, let's connect to the web conference app, in this case Zoom, and we'll establish audio and visual contact with everyone. Whomever scheduled the proceeding will have sent you an invitation via email. You can click the link to the meeting in that email. You can also open the app, click Join, and enter the meeting ID number. As I mentioned earlier, many reporters prefer to use the call-in number for better sound quality. If you're using a speaker with the phone, turn it on and connect it to your phone. Then enter the call-in number that was provided in the Zoom invitation or on the screen when you join the conference and connect to others in the conference. If the organizer has secured the meeting with a password, you'll be required to enter your password. The password to enter the meeting is included with the invitation. As each person joins the meeting, you'll see their picture or their preferred video image and tools for the meeting at the bottom of the screen. You'll want to make sure you can hear everyone. Here's a tip. Anyone who is using the computer audio should be reminded to mute their microphones when they are not speaking, as this improves the sound quality for everyone and prevents background noise from interfering with everyone's ability to hear each other. The last step is to enable the participants to open CaseViewNet. If the participants are using a separate computer or other device for CaseViewNet browser, you'll want to send them the CaseViewNet browser link via email. If the participants are using one computer with more than one screen to run both CaseViewNet browser and the web conferencing app, you can paste the link in the chat tool. Click the chat tool in Zoom. Assuming everyone gets to use CaseViewNet and will be using the same password, press Ctrl-V to paste the browser link and press Enter to send that link to the entire group. And that's pretty much it for you. You're ready to go. On the participants' end, They'll click that CaseViewNet browser link on the device where they're opening CaseViewNet, type in a little additional information, and then see your real time. Cart clients can also click a button to switch from the standard view to a cart view. This video has explained how to provide real time and output to CaseViewNet browser, either for a remote real time legal proceeding or for remote cart when taking a job using a web conferencing application such as Zoom. There may be additional skills you'll want to develop depending on individual requirements for your job. Check Stenograph's YouTube site for other videos in this series for additional helpful topics. If you have a question, please send an email to training at stenograph.com. If you have a current Edge for Catalyst agreement, you can post questions at stenographhelp.askbot.com. A knowledgeable Stenograph representative will answer your questions as quickly as possible. I hope that this has been helpful. We understand that our customer base is facing unprecedented closures and work shortages during the COVID-19 crisis. We are working hard to help ease that pain. We are in this together. We are here to take care of our customers. The strength to emerge from this pandemic will come from us working together. We will recover and we will come out stronger.